Stupid monkey philosophy returns. But stupid monkey, you are four hours early. Yes, I know. But when the moment arises, one must uh, heed the moment. I don't know. Something like that. Good morning. Today is Monday, January 2nd. Uh, we're going to be debunking de facto Satanism and a bunch of stuff Mark Passio says. If you don't recall, uh, Tobin Templeman and I covered Mark uh, pretty extensively in his video on the science of natural law uh, a few months ago over at the Trusty Eight podcast. And uh, this is the gift that keeps on giving. So we're going to do that today. But first, a word from our sponsors. So, um, I did say 20 minutes or less. I think I'm going to debunk several things in this. We're obviously not going to get through the entirety of uh, Mark's video today. This is why I put a part one. I may have a little more than 20 minutes uh, to work on this, though. So, you know, we'll see. Um, it all works out in the wash. But I am restreaming this from uh, JG's stream from last night. Uh, I ended up in for a little bit uh, at the end. Uh, but there was a secondary debate, uh, as is uh, indicated here in the title, between Richard Madsen and Jill that's uh, also very interesting. I recommend you all go check that out. But uh, at the beginning here, we're just going to be watching uh, Jay restreaming Mark Passio's video. Passio. Uh, however you pronounce his name. Okay, here we go. Belief, Belief versus, versus reality. reality. And... and there's, There's a huge, huge chasm. chasm. It's, it's a, a huge, huge divide, divide of what, what people, people believe Satanism to be versus what Satanism truly, actually is in our world. Well, there's there's a third factor there because there's what people, and you say people believe Satanism to be, you know, different people may believe different things about Satanism. What Satanism actually is is a, a, a would be a whatever statement um and then there's what satanism claims to be right and and you have the same about any belief system um it looks like jay kind of started the stream uh started this video uh, in the middle of a statement there so i'm not sure what mark was saying before this but merely addressing so so there's 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 three sets of of, of categories of okay there's there's the claim of what the thing is what the thing actually is and then what the thing claims to be right yeah. Okay. So let's look at the difference. You see images like this in what people uh, believe Satanism to be, uh, a worldwide belief system of what Satanism This looks like uh, an image of what many Christians, many Christians, not most or all Christians, would believe Satanism to be. I think uh, maybe most Christians would probably um, adhere more to Mark's view um, as he goes forward here, but... Um, this idea that occultism uh, is, I don't know what this guy in, in the fire with the pitchfork would literally be Satan, and these other people are practicing witchcraft, uh, right? Which w Wicca is not Satanism. They're two distinct things. Satanism is, and it's completely incorrect. It's childish. It's naive. It's kind of asinine. And Hollywood and religion continuously puts out Hollywood and religion. Uh, okay. I'm not even going to address that out such imagery. And you would, uh, absolutely find more Satanists in a court system or in a corporation. Can you qualify that claim? 
can you can you show me Satanists in a court system or a corporation? Can you name a specific um, area of the the judiciary system? You know, you're just saying a court system, but you know, it could be is it the Supreme Court? Is it the local courts? What corporations? Mark's not going to qualify any of these statements. He's going to make statements like this throughout the entirety of the video, uh, and I'll just be blunt about it. I it's led me to believe that Mark Passio is a grifter and a liar. I don't believe Mark Passio has ever been involved in any Satanist uh, group or organization. Uh, that is selling products to the entire world, a multinational corporation, then out in the woods, black, black robed and hooded, sacrificing animals. Um, these are, um, again, religious and Hollywood inspired notions of Satanism. And they're there to prevent the proper reception and understanding of what Satanism is as a worldwide religion and I so this this whole thing this is cloak and dagger thing right which which is taken from the Bible right these concepts are not uh, 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 construed from whole cloth right they're they, we didn't just think this stuff up right and when you say religion well it, it, specifically these ideas are, are branded by Christianity they're in the Bible right that's that's why they are the mainstay so I don't know what your point is, but the idea that these are like covers for, for what's really going on is re like, I, I don't, I don't know how Mark thinks he can construe the world in this way. Ideology that is actively at work in our world to control us. So we have to grow up and go beyond these immature childlike notions of Satanism. Um, well, I agree. We should we should grow up and go beyond uh, immature, childlike notions of Satanism, right? What is Satanism really? Why don't you ask a Satanist? Uh, as being the worship worship of the devil and the sacrifice of animals and people out in the woods. But that's literally what Satanism is. Satanism is the worship of satan christianity is the worship of christ worship of adherence to right that is what the ism implies in satanism or in christianity or in islam right whatever faith you ascribe to you 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 worship that that figure the figurehead of the, the religion and you adhere to the tenets ideally uh, you know, not to say that certain factions of Satanism may not practice such things, but this is not what Satanism is as a mindset and an ideology, which is infinitely more important to understand how that is at work in our world. Yeah, well, I mean, Satanism, again, as an ideology that it would be adhering to the tenets of. So you have to look into what Satanism actually is rather than just making claims about what Satanism is without ever actually speaking to a Satanist. And although Mark is going to have claimed to have been a Satanist, uh, I don't find his claims to be compelling, and I think he's a liar. Then these religiously inspired and Hollywood inspired notions of Satanism. It is the average person's false belief that the religion of Satanism is about the belief in and worship of an evil deity known as Satan. And I should correct you there, because to the Satanist, Satan is not evil, right? Satan is the antithesis to the God Yahweh and uh, the figure of Jesus Christ, right, in the Bible. Satan comes from the Bible, and Satanists interpret these passages to say that, in fact, Satan is the good guy and Yahweh the bad guy, right? And Yahweh is the deceiver, right? That's what true Satanism is. They don't believe that Satan is evil, right? And it comes from Christianity. In the Christian religious tradition, of course. Religion and Hollywood together have created this ridiculous and childish version of a religion that is far more complex and far more sinister in its true beliefs and tenets. Well, okay, I would say religion uh, has created this. Hollywood maybe has uh, emphasized this, right? They've played upon the public's interest in this, this topic, right? 
Um, this ridiculous and childish version of a religion that is far more complex. Yes, Satanism is far more complex, but not in the way as you think. Far more sinister? No. Uh, real, legitimate Satanist organizations um, are actually probably far less sinister than most people actually believe. But you're going to paint a, a different picture here. And it's true belief in tenets. Um, you can you can look up the tenets of Satanism on the Church of Satan's website um, or the um, the Satanic Temple's website. They they have this stuff published online. Just Google it. Um, and to anybody who says that's not real Satanism, I would say those are two of the largest Satanist churches in the world. But okay, bro. The false variation of Satanism serves to hide the real thing, and to keep its true intents undiscovered by almost everyone that is the overarching purpose of the false notion the false belief in but then why is the false notion presented in the bible and that's the only notion that's, that's that's where the notion is derived from why would the false notion be in the bible throughout the bible like that's like literally half the bible satan's doing stuff sinister complex yada yada etc hellfire and brimstone in what satanism is and we have to dispel this and this is what i've been trying to do as a former satanist for the last 15 years of my life it's one of the most challenging and difficult things that i've ever had to do once again mark's going to claim to be a former satanist people that come out of cults right as mark claims to have done uh, especially if they were supposedly going to be high ranking, usually they identify those cults. They don't just broadly say Satanism, right? Satanism could be a, 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 any number of things. You'd identify a specific church or group that you belong to. You would identify the leaders of that group, right? Um, if you're afraid of those those people coming after you, you would do so in anonymity, right? You're, you wouldn't be showing your face on camera and giving out your full name like Mark is, right? So you, you can't have both. I'm just simply unafraid of these people, yet I'm not naming them. Um, no, you're not naming them because they don't exist. I believe Mark's uh, history in Satanism, his claims to have a history in Satanism are, are false. He spun them out of whole cloth. Uh, I'm going to go probably a little over 20 minutes. Is to try to explain to people what Satanism really is versus what they've been told that it is by their religious institutions and by Hollywood. So, throughout the course of this video, we're only three minutes in, Mark is not going to actually explain the core beliefs or tenets of Satanism. He's going to go through a whole philosophical theory that he has. Much of what he says is based in a lay understanding of philosophy. And when I say lay, I mean comparable to mine. Mark has the same or maybe a lesser understanding of philosophy than I do. Uh, he's a self-taught philosopher. He has no accreditation uh, in the field whatsoever. He's also going to go into some scientific claims. No accreditation in that field either. So here's what Satanism actually is. And I don't say this from book knowledge or being told about it secondhand. I know that this is what it is from firsthand experience inside the religion as a former priest of the Church of Satan. Claims to have been a former priest of the Church of Satan. Okay. So, that is a very specific claim. And we're going to see if the Church of Satan corroborates this. Um, so, if that is the case, then Mark, what Mark says here is in a direct contradiction to, uh, oh, yep. Um, and he's already been debunked apparently on uh, the Hellbound Heathen channel on this. Uh, the Church in, the church of Satan has a, a public post um, in their misinformation archives on their website. Um, Mark Passio makes money off of lecturing people on the occult and makes up his lies to suit his own personal agenda. Um, Infowars. <laughs> this guy was on Infowars? Well, no. Get the... F oh, my. 
Um, Mark Passio was never registered with the Church of Satan, nor was this person claiming to be him ever known to any of the high-ranking representatives. Okay, so, according to the Church of Satan, this guy is a liar, right? Um, and that was my first notion. He, he's, he's not actually making uh, any, any uh, corroborated or verifiable claims. Satanism is an ancient occult religion comprised of diverse interconnected networks of worldwide adherence. That means it is a worldwide belief system. You mean it's a religion. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that, Mark. And it operates as a, a, a network that connects seemingly disparate groups from all over the world. Like religion. It, it connects people. You're calling them disparate groups, right? But they're only disparate in, in, in reference to their religion, right? Because they are not Christian. <laughs> At its ideological core, and this is what is of utmost importance, this religion, Satanism, postulates that knowledge of the human psyche, our inner workings as human beings, in our mindset, in our mentation, in our psychology, and knowledge of the laws of the universe, or in other words, the way things really work in the physical world, true science. Uh, that knowledge combined of the human psyche and the laws of nature should be occulted or hidden and held only by a small group of few human beings so that they themselves may retain power, may gain and retain power over the ignorant human masses. Well, I've never seen nor heard any Satanist, any true Satanist, uh, make this claim, right? The Church of Satan doesn't make that claim publicly, although obviously they wouldn't if that were their agenda. But I have to say, if that is their agenda, they're failing miserably, right? Because the, the knowledge of the, the natural law, the human psyche, all these things are, are in the public discourse. I can I can go and look these things up on the internet. There's a lot of information, a lot of discourse published about these these topics. So the Church of Satan is failing miserably if this is their agenda. Uh, I don't think it is. It is much more accurate to perceive the belief of Satanism, to perceive Satanists and dark occultists in general as ancient psychologists who hold and wield hidden... Well, that made me laugh so hard when I heard it. Ancient psychologists. Um, okay. That's that's very interesting. But we have modern psychologists. So, so why would I be ancient? There's, there's so much wrong with this statement. I mean... We wouldn't even... It, acknowledge an ancient practice right is is outdated it's like like witchcraft like most modern witches don't believe that what they're doing is really like invoking any spiritual power they, they just more attribute it to the power of suggestion or maybe uh, manifesting if you know what that means right um, like manifesting reality but it, it they don't generally cling to the ancient superstitions they tend to to modernize their superstitions as as satanism has done hidden information in ways which will exploit those who remain ignorant of it that is what the occult is it's hidden knowledge about how the human mind works and well nobody's ignorant of, of satanism most people are ignorant of what satanism actually is but most people as you say uh, have, have some knowledge that satanism exists and they're they're vaguely aware of it, and they 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 feel that they are protecting themselves against it through prayers and rituals and uh, what have you, right? Um, but again, this this is this is merely an idea that's that's pushed by Christians, uh, Christian adherents, and operates human desires, aspirations, how we think, how we operate, and how. The human psyche can be manipulated through symbolism, through imagery, through word choice, through fear, etc. Right, but every religion does that, right? Satanism is not exceptional in that regard. Every religion exploits the human psyche through fear and symbolism, etc. Right? So you're not really making any any 
statement particular to Satanism. And to hold that information and wield it as a weapon over those who don't have that information, who are psychologically immature, who have no understanding of how the uh, average human mind works and, uh, you know, those aspects of human psychology and how they can be manipulated. And therefore, the master in that regard, with all of that knowledge, can wield a power differential over those who are not in the know. That is ultimately what this religion is. At the highest levels, of course. As we're going to... At the highest levels. Um, so once again, according to the Church of Satan, Mark Mark Passio does not know anybody in the high ranks of Satanism in, in that church. Um, and, I, and I don't believe that he does in any other. He's, he's making many claims. Um, this, could, again, could be said of any religion. You could see this. I mean, would you, would you not say the same thing of Christian televangelist Mark? All right. We'll go, we'll go a couple more minutes. We're running. We're over 20 minutes. Yeah, 21 minutes. All right. So we haven't even gotten onto what de facto Satanism means. This is just a long-winded diatribe from Mark Passio. But we'll let him go a few more minutes, and, uh, and then we'll wrap it up and wait for part two. I got other shit to do this morning. C, de facto Satanism, is low-level Satanism. It's the version of Satanism that is given to the masses of people to keep them under control. Right. So de facto Satanism is low-level Satanism fed to the masses. Um, no, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Why would you want somebody to be a part of your cult and not know about it? And not, like, that doesn't... Right. De facto means in fact, in effect, or whether by right or not. Whether by right or not. However you interpret that. Um, you know, because using... Uh, it's Latin, right? Is it Latin? Um, and there's no, um, I had to look this up myself. There's no, uh, the hell is that mark called? <laughs> Darn it. There's, there's no little thing in between D and facto. It's, it's two words. Um, yeah. So, so they're just going to feed Satanism to the masses while cleverly disguising what Satanism really is and convincing most of those people that they're Christians? Is, that's what Mark's saying here. He's saying that they've convinced you that you're Christian, but in fact, you are practicing in Satanism. The Satanists don't want you to know this, but hey, buddy, here I am. All right. Gotcha. So through the power differential that this ruling class gain by the way of manipulating those who remain in ignorance of all of the knowledge that they occult or hide, the small minority who are in the know wish to permanently rule the masses of humanity and effectively become God on earth. Mark does this a lot and it, it bugs me. Well, maybe it's just something I could point out in my, myself. Uh, small minority redundancy. There's a lot of redundancy here, right? Um, let's listen to that statement again, though, because I, I was focused on small minority and not the rest of what he said. That is the rule. The small minority who are in the know wish to permanently rule the masses of humanity and effectively become God on earth. So he's talking about like the corporate 1% or whatever, like um, all the wealth, amassing all the wealth in the world. Actually, many of the wealthiest corporations are run by Christian religious zealots, and they they actively promote Christian agendas, right? Um, especially in America, in the United States. That is their ultimate long-term goal of what Satanism is. It is to invert everything. It is to pervert everything, invert everything in the natural domain. I don't know why you were inverted. You were perverted too. See what Mark did there? Turn everything on its head and ultimately become gods of a prison society. They want worldwide slavery. They want to rule everybody as their master. They want to be gods on earth. 
It is important to understand that contrary to popular belief, the overwhelmingly vast majority of Satanists do not worship an externalized deity known as Satan. In the right, so he's talking about the the branch or the the type of Satanists that are in fact atheists, right? Atheists who claim Satanism. Okay, which which they do exist. There are atheists who claim Satanism. Usually, it's in in, in virtue of them wanting to piss off Christians. Though they they get a kick out of invoking Satan in public discourse or discourses that happen between them and and religious believers, right? It's not, so it has nothing to do with invoking any type of ideology. They're, they're using the their interlocutor's ideology against them as a, it's like a troll. They're trolling, right? It, it doesn't make it an ideology. In the Christian tradition, but instead see Satanism as an ideological way of being in the world. And they view... No, no, nobody sees it that way. If you, and if you'd hear those tenets, you'd see, like as with the tenets of the Church of Satan, if it is an ideology, it is one that is promotes goodwill and uh, tolerance to a certain extent, and it also uh, allows for the defense of oneself and one's property and one's family... Right. Um, and as much as as the biblical commandments, the commandments of Satanism uh, tend to be a, a little bit vague. Um, however, they're they're a bit more specific and, and in some ways uh, improvement on biblical commandment. The ego driven self as the God of their religion. The self is the God of Satanism, not some Christian horned and hooved deity as is depicted in Hollywood and ridiculous versions of what Satanism is by religious traditions. The ego, completely run out of control and run amok and wanting to be God, is what should be properly understood as the God of the Satanic religion. And then the next question that people will very naturally and rightly have is, well, why do they call it Satanism? Why don't they call it egotism? And again, they want to take trappings of religious tradition to confuse people and get them thinking of it in terms of, oh, this is some quaint religious belief based on the Christian. Uh okay, so Mark isn't actually talking about Satanism, right? You're, you're talking about some other group that claims to be Satanism, but isn't Satanism. But this group doesn't have a name, right? I mean, you said Church of Satan before, but Church of Satan disavows any knowledge of you, right? But what you're saying now is you're not actually talking about people who are outwardly Satanist. You're talking about uh, some clandestine organization that uses Satanism um, and calls it Satanism and is not Satanism. A version of uh, an evil deity when in fact uh, Satanism is infinitely more than that and far more sinister than just worshiping some so-called evil deity, uh, externalized deity. It is the ego run out of control, wanting to be God and w willing to do anything to make that uh, eventuality, to make that goal happen in the very real world. All right, we'll end on that slide for now. Uh, I said 20 minutes, been almost 30. Um, all right, so we debunked that Mark is not actually talking about Satanism. In Mark's own words, he is talking about some clandestine organiz organization or group that um, operates under the guise of Satanism, but is not Satanism. Um, therefore, anybody he's talking about cannot be de facto Satanist, right? Um, by this definition, you're, you're talking about a different group, right? They call themselves Satanists, but they are not Satanists. Therefore, not Satanists. Clear enough? All right. That was an easy debunk, right? Um, also, Mark, stop lying about being involved in the Church of Satan. It's just weird, okay? I mean, they're, they're, they're a pretty transparent organization. Um, all right. Stupid monkey out. Uh, keep it real, homies. Keep it real, homies. Please donate if you can. Uh, 
need all the help we can get over here. See you next time.